Hello, and welcome to Canadian Rights Reviews, where we examine the ins and outs of Canadian rights, freedoms, laws, and policies. It's a time of unprecedented police powers under the mandate of emergency health orders. It is also a time of unprecedented civil disobedience and protest for most of us within our lifetimes. While Canada is no stranger to civil unrest, it has been mostly limited to regionalized focal points and smaller limited protests for much of our history. Today I would like to turn back the clock to a much smaller protest. A protest by one man in Leduc, Alberta in 2016, over unmarked police conducting photo radar. Stefan Humby's opinion is that there is nothing wrong with slowing people down, but feels getting a ticket weeks later does not accomplish that. So he carries a sign to warn others of photo radar traps. He's a peace officer and I'm waiting to go protest what I think is uh, something not right uh, in the city of Leduc. He should be fully labeled. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm out there slowing people down. He's not. He's handing out uh, pretty much tax tickets, which I don't agree with. So I'm out peacefully protesting Section 2B of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And I'm out protesting. I've already had a couple complaints. There's, I'm doing nothing wrong. He is actually a peace officer with Global Traffic Solutions. And uh, that's what I'm out here doing. I videotape it all so I know that I'm not getting in, in trouble with anything. And uh, I don't stunt. I don't, uh, I just hold the sign peacefully, warn motorists that he's out, actually slow people down instead of getting a ticket here uh, in, uh, instead of them getting a ticket in the mail two weeks later. If you'd like, I'd pull around so I'm not blocking traffic. <laughs> No, I don't follow him everywhere he goes. They have certain spots in Leduc, so that's where I go and I find out where he's at. When he leaves, I go to try to find the next spot where he's at. I don't follow him all day long. That's that's not true. I'm following him now to go find the next spot that he's at so I can go and protest. To actually slow people down. Uh, I've had a couple guys come up and stop me. They... Uh, just uh, inform me about stunt, uh, pedestrian stunting. They inform me about obstruction. I don't block his camera. I don't uh, wave my sign around. I stand there with my sign peacefully, and that's it. Uh, I've had a call from, I think it was Constable Ling a couple days ago. It was the same gentleman that uh, had an issue with me. Uh, the other guy in the blue Dodge that goes around, he's actually quite nice. He's a uniformed officer. I don't know if he's a peace officer or RCMP, but uh, he's quite good. We have a good chat when I'm out with my sign. He actually is like, you're actually doing awesome. He said, you're slowing people down. He said, I wish Leduc would do what Morinville does and uh, actually put decals on these cars so we actually slow people down instead of giving them a ticket two weeks later in the mail. So what are you going to do? I don't follow them all day long. No, I do not. I go to their normal areas where they go. They go in school zones, playground zones, or over by Safeway. They stop in behind Black Gold. Uh, they actually post some of the locations they're at in uh, in the Leduc rep. Would you like me to pull over here so I'm not blocking the road? Well, that's that's fine, but there's yeah. nothing. I can drive around town. There's yeah, but when that officer going to his job and then. He can go and do his job, that's fine. If I find where he's protesting, that's where I go. If I know his vehicle, I'll go and find where he's going to be stopped at. Alright, yeah, you're going to write to like, drive around, but following people makes people nervous. Like well, he, he can be nervous. I'm, I'm not a threat. I don't... Uh, if he, Thinks that way. That's um, I apologize for that. But that's, so, uh, so what if someone was following you around? I you feel. Would, I wouldn't have a problem with it. I came to my house. I'd ask him why they were following me. I've told him why. While I go, why I go around and look at what he does. So if you were to leave that officer, I would go to... find where he was at so I could go and protest because he is the one out today doing photo radar. Yeah. I, I would go look to see where he is parked. Yes. So I could go hold my sign, warn drivers, and actually slow them down so that they obey the laws. And you know that these are listed in the record. 
Uh, they actually don't park where the rep uh, says they are. I've actually gone to those locations. I've stayed there all day, and they haven't uh, they haven't showed up. So what they do, actually, uh, the gentleman in the blue dodge, uh, who's the officer, he actually uh, says he doesn't even know where the rep where they post because he just goes out wherever he wants to go. So uh, it's a little bit of a uh, miscommunication, I think, by Global Traffic Services who put it out. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, intentional or not, but it definitely is. Sure, it's put by hazards on. I don't think you need to wait around for this officer to install the car. I just don't think they just yeah, but, uh, write down a license plate or follow. No, the I know. I know the Jeep with the fleet vehicle deckle on this back of the thing. It's they're all they're all fleet vehicles. They all have the black deckle. That's how you spot them. That's how you do it. And that's how I go out and protest. Okay. So why don't we let this officer go into his job and you just go? Well, this is what I'm doing today. I'm going out and I'm protesting. But following this officer, like, what? Like, what so I, I, let me ask you this question. What yeah. is he actually doing, this officer here, that's actually improving safety besides handing out a ticket uh, two weeks later in the mail? This right now, uh, this is why I disagree with it. They're letting people speed through, okay? Uh, two weeks later, they, 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 they somebody gets a ticket in the mail. I slow people down instantly. If he lets somebody speed through, he gets them on camera, right? They get in an accident. What good does that do? If I witness something unsafe in my work site and I don't report it immediately, I would be fired. So this this, this is why I'm protesting. I have no problem with photo radar. Be out there, be fully marked. You will slow people down and you will keep the road safe. I have no problem when you guys are out. I have no problem with the police. I have a problem with these guys hiding, which they do behind fences, behind bushes. They're on mark. And they're just out collecting money. They're not about safety, yeah. and that that is my problem with uh, with what they're doing. I have no nothing have personal against him. About this, because yes, it, following this officer around, do you want to go to your job? Are you are you working right now? The officer has asked multiple times about Mr. Humby following officers around and speaking with them. Where he is trying to lead the conversation is into some sort of admission of criminal harassment. As we can see. Following and communicating are the types of conduct outlined for 2A and B of Section 264 of the Criminal Code. I am quite sure Mr. Humby is aware of this, which is why he has been consistent to include his reasoning, of protesting photo radar in a manner he objects to. Notwithstanding the conduct in Part 2, Part 1 clearly states the person being harassed must reasonably fear for their safety. In being candid about his reasoning, Mr. Humby is trying his best to relieve any such apprehension. Factoring that in, Police would have a hard time proving reasonable fear of Mr. Humby and his sign. No, I've been waiting to see where he's going to go next. Do you realize that following a person is considered harassment? You consider that he's a peace officer. I'm going out to try to find out where I want to protest. I know that he's out doing photo radar, and that is my purpose to go out and protest. The hidden photo radar in the city of Libby. So I don't understand how any form of anything trumps my charter right to go out and protest something that I don't and I do it peacefully. I follow the rules. If you're following this officer around to find out where the photo radar is going to be so that I can protest, yes. That is how I know where to protest. If he would like to file harassment charges, he would like to say that's that's totally his prerogative. And uh, I will go and fight it in court like like law abiding citizens would do. And that's that's the way it would go. Um, I'm, I'm not doing anything to threaten him. I'm going out so that I can practice Section 2B of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. If you're following this protest. officer, you're following him and where he's going. I'm not following everywhere he's going. No, that's incorrect. I'm following to see where he's going at. And then I go around the locations that I know the photo radar. Yes, I did. I waited uh, because I wanted to see where the photo radar was going to go next. So when you spoke with Officer Lane the other day, yes. what did he say? Uh, actually, at the, the voicemail he said is that don't talk to the officer. And I said, well, I'm sorry, as a peace officer, I would be allowed to talk to him, but I, I, I don't talk to him, except for the guy in Blue Dodge. So we have good conversations. 
Yeah, which is actually not true. So I called him back because I got a voicemail. And I said, I will not communicate with the peace officer. If he wants to talk to me, I shall. And I said, I, I, I have no qualms with that. But uh, I said, I will go out and I will protest peacefully. And I said, I'll, I'll continue doing it. I said, he can file complaints if he'd like, and that's fine. But I said, I don't appreciate false complaints. And uh, if, if that so Can happens. Pull over somewhere safe? Yeah, that'd be great. I appreciate that. I'll just pull over here. I'll block this driveway a little bit. Is that all right? Well, that's fine, but if he's going to be out and around, I'm going to go around to the locations that they usually set up, and that's where I would go and protest. That's, that's, if he happens to be on the same route, I can't help that. I know where they sit, and that's where I will go. They only have so many spots in the Duke that they go. I go to protest. If he's there, that's, that's fine. I'll protest him. If it's the guy in the Mitsubishi, I'll go protest him. If it's the guy in the Blue Dodge, I'll go protest him. So just a question at this time, am I under arrest for being detained for anything? Well, I know you'd like that to be happening. Well, I'm just, just asking, cameras. it's just the camera, yeah? Yeah, well, right now we're investigating this. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay. So, what we're investigating is criminal code, yep. threatening a peace officer. Yeah, and that was which is fine. Actually, and this various over here has talked to me before well, as well. Maybe let me finish. And various offenses under the highway traffic law. So we're investigating it. Oh, yeah, if there's okay. going to be a charge or anything, yep. uh, you'll hear about it. All right, excellent. You've got my okay. plate number there, so and you've dealt with me before, so that's fine. Okay. As long as you wear the fact that we are going to investigate it, and if you commit an offense, we'll have to deal with it. Well, absolutely, if it's yep. an offense, okay. why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't okay. you? Why wouldn't you go forward with it? <laughs> I know you're digging for something to happen. It's not going to happen. So uh, I, I'm, you can yeah, just do I'm whatever digging, you want. I, I'm okay. digging for nothing. I'm just asking you a question. If I'm free to go or not. Okay. You gentlemen, have a good day. Towards the end, this officer stated they are investigating Mr. Humby for obstruction of a peace officer, and several traffic act offenses. I am reasonably certain Mr. Humby is on fairly safe grounds, courts would be unlikely to see his freedom of expression as an obstruction to a peace officer. While this all might seem to be a fairly minor bit of overreaching by the police to some. I am using this example to show the nuanced undertone of rights suppression, that is always present in our country. At times in very recent history those undertones have erupted through the surface, while many look the other way. In what is dubbed as the single largest event of civil disobedience in Canada, protesters in a crowd estimated as high as 250,000, took to the streets of Montreal in the Maple Spring of 2012. In May of the same year the Quebec government passed Bill 78 as an emergency law, to almost outright ban the right to assemble and protest. Technically, you could still do so as long as you submitted all plans for the protest ahead of time, and they were approved by police. In 2015 Bill C-51 introduced the Anti-Terrorism Act, which provided expanded powers to the government, with broad language that is ripe for abuse. The act gives the Canadian Security Intelligence Service latitude to reduce threats to the security of Canada, regardless of charter infringements, and allows Canadian citizens to be put on no-fly lists. Hello Chris Guy. 2017 and 2019 saw Quebec introduce Bills 62 and 21, which have been seen by many as very controversial infringements on religious rights. 2020 and 21, the erosion of rights continues. What's my point? Well it's the same point that has been made for thousands of years. Stand up for your rights. Silence is compliance. If you do not make use of your voice, sooner or later, you will no longer have one. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.